minutes ago, we so foolishly <laughs> said, Aaron, prove it to us <laughs> that it's really going to snow. And here we go. Yep, we got what we asked for. It's starting to come down. And uh, yeah, and Aaron's still uh, hanging out in Roscoe there. He's like, guys, listen Our, to me. <laughs> <laughs> Snowing there too, it looks like, huh, Aaron? Yes, we've been sitting in the car just watching the snow intensity start to pick up and just how quickly it does accumulate here on the pavement. If you were watching at 9 o'clock when we did our first live hit, I really couldn't see any of the snow accumulation on this particular part of the path. But as you can see behind me here, starting to get that accumulation doesn't take a lot at this point because we did see that one, two, maybe three inches of snow earlier on this morning. A lot of melting did happen during that dry slot, but as we start to see the snow fill back in, now it will begin to add up for us. Now the overall snowfall totals into tonight probably can come down a few inches, but we're still expecting several more hours of snow as we head through late morning, heading into the afternoon. Let's go ahead and look at our Max Storm Tracker radar here. And again, where we had those dry slots in the radar picture earlier, that is all pretty much filled in now exception just south of Madison. So as we head over the next several hours, we will start to see the snow intensity pick up. We're at 33 degrees now. And look at the forecast by time. Each and every spot there, snow in the forecast. And that snow slated to continue as we head into tonight. National Weather Service still continues with winter storm warnings for the entire viewing area. So that is why we've got a first alert weather day. And as we do look at the region here, anywhere from a good six plus inch of wet snow to come down and then strong winds too that will blow in this afternoon and evening. It's somewhat breezy this morning, but the winds are only going to pick up here as the day progresses. And we're starting to see the visibilities on our quad cam diminish and if you look down at the bottom left hand corner you might be able to see us there in the backdrop we're little tiny ants as we see that prime truck taking a right heading north on 251. downtown rockford 33 degrees northeast winds at nine those northeast winds will pick up today between 10 and 20 and could gust up to 30, 35 miles per hour, maybe even 40 heading into tonight. And that will really wisp the snow around. So four inches on the low end of this, I think a lot of us could go on to see six to 10 inches of snow off to the west and up over the state line, maybe a foot of snow to come down and it would be wet and heavy, tough to shovel. So forecast today keeps us in the mid thirties for highs down to the twenties tonight. I think the snow will wrap up around the eight, nine o'clock hour. Upper twenties tomorrow, more snow possibilities. Wednesday night into Thursday could pick up an inch or two. Maybe another round of an inch of snow on Thursday night. Friday into Saturday, snow is in the forecast and it would be a lighter, finer snow. So with the wind, that would be blowing and drifting concerns there for us heading into the weekend. And then bone chilling cold to settle in. We're down to zero Saturday night, nine above as we head into our Sunday forecast, five below zero on Sunday night. So waking up to sub-zero temperatures on Monday. We'll also see the eight degree high there up to 12 after starting off at two below zero on Tuesday, and then up to 14 on Wednesday, slight chance of snow, 22 by the time we get into Thursday. All right, that's checking the forecast details live from Roscoe. Again, I do think the snow intensity will pick up here throughout the rest of the morning. Heading into the afternoon, it'll be a consistent snow for us the rest of the day into tonight. And we'll start to see those inches really stack up here over the next several hours. So I uh, guess where it might not be as much snow as originally forecasted because of those many dry hours we had in certain spots this morning, we will go on to see that snowfall intensify here as we head over the next several hours. We're live in Roscoe. We'll catch up with you today on 23 News at noon. And of course, more coverage tonight, 4, 5, and 6, live from the elements. Andy and Marta will send it back to you. And by the way, just for the record, I'm not playing the I told you so game. Okay. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, I just. I, I love that game. We, I, I'm going to start a pool in the newsroom to see where you're going to be at noon because you've been in Rockford, Loves Park, McChesney Park, now up to Roscoe. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe. Well, I'm not going to reveal. Do we, my, do we have so. a couple seconds? Sure. Do we have a minute or sure. so? Sure. All right. We didn't discuss this in the car, Tyler, so I apologize. <laughs> Freeport. 
I was, I was I knew, thinking, I was Wes, gonna I was going to go Pecatonic. Uh, I, I, you're, you're going all the ah. way. You're going into Stevenson County. All right. There, when I, in doubt, Freeport. Yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's not a bad call. It seems like they've been getting more snow. Right? I don't know, you know, at least according to Max Storm Tracker. So, yeah. Andy, Marta, you make the decision. Oh, we get to go. We Mike, get... who's been directing our show. Yeah, make the decision right now between the three of you. We got the time. I'll go Come to on. Lena. What? Go all the way. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, within, within we, we, last hour. time we were in Lena for a snowstorm, by the way, stuck. we did have a foot of snow on the ground, <laughs> yeah. and we were there at the fire protection I district for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Freeport is a good predictor of what we're going to see in Rockford, yes. so that's my vote. Yeah, I get, I, once again, you don't want to, we shouldn't make light of this. It's the roads are going to deteriorate here, so yeah, just be safe. Stay on the main roads and yeah, head west to Freeport. That's our call. You take what you do what you want. Freeport with it. it is. Go right. pretzels. Okay, thank We're you. We're coming Aaron. for you slowly but surely. Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> They've got two hours. To yeah, get they there. got they got time.